What's up guys, Kagan is 321 here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about what my version of Ash Ketchum's Pokemon team. Here we go. Ash Ketchum is the main character in, um, of each Pokemon series. Uh, except for the new Pokemon Horizon series, which I have no idea why they do that, but they wanted a change of pace. So let's start with the Kanto region, where Ash starts his journey. Pikachu, of course, we can't have the, we can't have Ash without uh, Pikachu. Pikachu is the MVP for Ash. Charizard. But this time, Charizard's different. Instead of him not listening in the first couple bits of it, he listens to him. He, he listens to him and doesn't mind him. Venusaur. Yes, I know there's Bulbasaur, but Bulbasaur is good, but I think Venusaur would have helped him get, would have helped him, uh, just helped him with his journey. Uh, next up is Blastoise. Yes, we know, we all love the Squirtle Squad from the first show, but Blastoise is a bit better, and he uses the he just, Blastoise just helps out with the Squirtle Squad. Next up is Snorlax. I chose Snorlax because he did catch a Snorlax and I figured it it's really good. It helps out. Uh, next up is Tauros. Tauros, yes, I chose another normal type. Um, he, he catches 50 of them, but he just... But Tauros helps out a lot with against um, Gary. Sure, it loses, but it helps weaken uh, weaken Nidoqueen. Finally, um, I know it's the seventh Pokemon I'm talking about, but it's Mr. Mime because we gotta have Mr. Mime be part of the team. All right, next up is Jodo, the Jodo region. We get, we have of course Pikachu because MVP. Next up, Typhlosion. Yes, I know he gets a Cyndaquil and then it evolves into Quilava when he goes into the Cyndaquil region. Makes no sense why I did that, but um, but in this, in my version of it, he makes it so he does have Typhlosion instead. It, his his Cyndaquil evolved into Quilava and then Quilava evolved into Typhlosion. It just works out well. It, if he f makes his Pokemon evolve, it just makes them stronger. All right, next up, for Alligator. For Alligator is a great Pokemon. It would have helped him. Um, it would have helped him win the Pokemon League if he did have for Alligator. Honestly, next up is Meganium. Meganium, a great flower Pokemon, would have helped out. Another Pokemon is Noctowl. We love Ash's first shiny, first and only shiny Pokemon he has is the Noctowl. I decided to keep it because it's best for him to have a shiny Pokemon. It would be really cool. And then lastly for the Jodo region is Tyranitar. We know how he has a Larvitar following him for a little bit. But what if that Larvitar, after he found his family, realized that Ash... Is a great person and decided to be with, be with Ash, um, be with Ash's Pokemon and his family, basically. It worked, and it evolved into a Tyranitar. I feel like the Tyranitar would have helped out, helped him win the Pokemon League, and he would have been champion of the Jodo region. All right, next up is Hoenn. The Hoenn region, uh, Pikachu, of course, Swellow. A great Pokemon. Swallow. Just a great Pokemon for Ash. Uh, next up, Sceptile. We ought to have the Sceptile. It's just Sceptile really, really helps. Glalie. We all love Glalie. Uh, great, great ice type. I think one. I think one of his only ice types. I don't remember if he ever catches another ice type. Comment down below if he actually does. Um, next up is Mightyana. 
I've changed it from Corfish to Mayana because, or Torkoal, either one, because Mayana seems like a great, like if Ash had a Mayana, it would have been a great dark type against, against a battle that involved ghost types. Just seems good. Uh, and then finally, Milotic. For the re for a replacement water type for Corefish. I know Corefish was good, but but in the in the show uh in the show where uh Ash battles Misty for a clauncher, it's his Corefish lost and that made me kind of lose interest in Corefish. Corefish is great, but he lost to a Politoed, and Politoed doesn't really have great stats. Anyways, Milotic would have been a better option. Next up, Sinnoh region. We have Pikachu, of course, and we have Garchomp. Yes, he has. He used to have a Gibble, but I think he needs that Gibble to evolve into Garchomp. It would have helped him defeat Tobias against the dark rye and latios also how does he get a dark rye and latios honestly makes no sense uh infernape keep that infernape torterra we keep torterra now there are a lot of people that don't like torterra thinking that he would have been stronger if he was turtwig i think honestly he just was a bit lower level he didn't train he didn't train Torterra much, but he should have trained Torterra much. If he did, then he would have helped. He would have helped out a lot. Next up, Star Raptor. We are keeping it. And then Gliscor. Finally, Gliscor. Yes, we're keeping the Gliscor as well. Funny guy. Funny Pokemon. All right, next up, Univeregion. Decided to keep this. Um, Pikachu, because why not? And Boar. Yes, his pig nine is great, but Embor would have Embor would have helped uh would have helped him a lot. Uh Crocodile. Cause Crocodile is such a sick looking croc Pokemon. The I think the best croc Pokemon I've ever seen. Um Scrafty. Yeah, Scraggy. I really don't see much point in Scraggy, but Scrafty, oh, way better than Scraggy. Unpheasant. A great flying normal flying type honestly is my is my second favorite uh normal flying my first favorite in the top 10 pokemon is like pidgeot because pidgeot can mega evolve and then finally palpitoad i did not evolve it into seismitoad because palpitoad was already strong he didn't use it in the final round if he did who knows all right Next up, Kalos region. I decided to do Pikachu, of course, Greninja, Halucha, Talonflame, and Noivern for all Pokemon. That's five. I decided to give him a sixth. I decided to keep, the, I decided to change the sixth Pokemon. Instead of Gudra, we have Pinsir. Probably wondering why Pinsir? Pinsir can Mega Evolve, and I feel like Ash deserves a Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. Greninja does not make doesn't really mega evolve greninja is like an ash greninja thing but it's like a second form with uh so with like a cast form like ca with cast form changing from normal form to like sunny form to make it sunny um basically that type of thing for greninja i don't think it's really mega evolution alola the Alola region. I actually did not change this one much, ex as well as the Kalos region team. The Alola region, I've, I've kept Pikachu, Incineroar, Lycanroc, Melmetal, and Naganado. Except Naganado was, stays with him the entire time instead of goes because he trained another protector. Um, but I decided to do Decidueye instead of Rallid, where his Rallid doesn't find the Everstone and evolves into Decidueye. Because Decidueye would have helped him defeat Hal a l way before, just way before, because 
if Varela can defeat Howell's Decidui, I'm pretty sure he would have finished, like, finished it before. All right, finally, uh, the Gala region. I've uh, kept some of his team members. Pikachu, of course, Gengar, Lucario, and Dracovish. I've kept those because those are all great Pokemon. I did not keep uh, Dragonite and Surfetched, honestly, because you do not need another Fighting type and another Dragon type on the team. So here's what I have. Mr. Rhyme. Basically, he takes Mr. Mime uh, to a Galar, uh, snowy mount, a snowy Galar mountain, um, and he encounters Mr. A Galarian, Mr. Rhyme, uh, Mr. Mime, and he, and Mr. Mime likes him and wants him to be added to the team, so he catches it for Mr. Mime, and it evolves into Mr. Rhyme, and his Mr. Rhyme defeats. Uh, Leon's Mr. Rhyme, and then Honchkrow. Out of all the time, out of all the Pokemon, why choose Honchkrow? Well, I feel like well, Ash needs a flying type because it doesn't really, because most of his team is flying type. But I chose Honchkrow because I feel like Honchkrow wasn't really much in this in the series, much in any of the Pokemon series. I barely see Honchkrow in any of the Pokemon series, and Ash fixes that. Honestly, also a dark type would have also helped him defeat uh, Stevens Metagross. Um, not Mr. Rhyme, because Mr. Rhyme would have defeated the Hunch Crow. Just other Pokemon. Um, ooh, that uh, Sydney's. Uh, not Cynthia. Sydney's. Cynthia's uh, Spear Tomb. Yeah. All right. Finally, Paldea region. If they actually didn't make a show of him in the Paldea region, here's what I would have. Pikachu, of course. Uh, but he, he would change his type from electric to iron, to steel type. Terra type steel. Uh, Skelly Dirge. Because he needs a starter Pokemon. He hasn't had a starter Pokemon in the Gala region. And honestly, that's kind of weird that... They gave Go all the starter Pokemon instead of him. It's Skelly Dirge is a fire ghost type. He doesn't have very many ghost types, so I figured I don't want to make Gengar lonely. So, Palmot. Pikachu realizes that has encountered a lot of trainers who have other electric type Pokemon, like two, two electric type Pokemon in their team. And he kind of feels lonely being the only electric type that Ash has. So he encounters a Palmy. And catches it, and it became a uh, Palmot. Coridon, because in the story, in the story in the Pokemon Scarlet Violet games, you get Coridon or Maridon, depends on which version you have. Um, and I figured he'd be more in the Scarlet version, because he's in the past a lot. Honestly, it feels like he's very old, so he, because he hasn't aged, but it seems like he's aged he should have aged. So Coridon makes it easier for him to... Yeah. Stone Journer doesn't have very many rock types. It seems like Stone Journer would have helped. Also, Stone... Also, he, encount... he encounters Stone Journer very weak and um, very scared and helps him out. And Stone Journer wants to join his team. And then finally, Backscalibur. I learned what the dragon type was in the Paldean region. Uh, the pseudo Backscalibur dragon ice type. He doesn't have very many dragons or ice types, so I feel like Backscalibur would have been a great option. And he just encounters a Frigibrax. Uh, that was hurt by a uh, by a by just uh, a by a group of fracture. And with Ash's help, it, he basically just joins him because Ash helped him. And that's all for my versions of Ash Pokemon Team. If you have different versions, then leave a comment down below. Um, 
If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't yet, subscribe. I know basically 90%. I don't do the statistics much, but I heard it's just a heard I have to do it anyways. Um, the statistics are basically 99% of you are watching but have not yet subscribed. So please do subscribe. Peace.